Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today I am in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, basically Philadelphia. And look, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Ha ha ha, you get that reference? Good for you. Um, no, really, it's a sunny, beautiful day. And today we're outside Love Bird. Yes, Love Bird. This is a fried chicken restaurant. There's about four locations in the Philadelphia area. One, I believe, also in Connecticut. Here, doing a giant fried chicken challenge, which sounds really awesome. So what's special about this place is their fried chicken is all gluten-free, including all their sides are gluten-free. So you, who are gluten intolerant or celiac, etc., you can get gluten-free fried chicken here which is really awesome so for the challenge I believe it is 12 pieces of their signature fried chicken and then we are going to have three of their sides yes three of their sides I'm gonna get to pick my sides um, I know they have options like macaroni and cheese again all gluten-free um, but they also have like fried pickles they have macaroni and cheese they have Brussels sprouts I love Brussels sprouts so to me that sounds really awesome um, I know we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete the challenge to get the meal for free um, but that is pretty much it uh, I think the value of the meal is about 60 bucks uh, but anyway, we'll head on in and get you some more details. We'll have some fun with these food. I'm so pumped, guys. Like I said, beautiful sunny day and uh, fried chicken. So with that, let's head on in. Let's have fun. Let's eat some chicken. All right, everyone, here we are with all the delicious looking chicken. They're also behind, like, behind this massive pile of chicken. We have all the sides. So I went with their coleslaw. Their signature coleslaw looks really, really delicious. I have some deep fried pickles. Yes, had to try the deep fried pickles because why not? I also have their Brussels sprouts, which look and smell awesome. I love Brussels sprouts. I feel Brussels sprouts are kind of a thing you either really like or you just don't really like, but I really like them. Um, so yeah, all the chicken here, guys. Um, I have all of their signature sauces as well, such as like their Lovebird sauce. I have some honey mustard. I have some ketchup. You know about that ketchup life. And I also have some spicy buffalo. Um, so, but that, that's pretty much about it. So like I said, we'll get started here. Just momentarily. I am ready. I think the restaurant is ready. Good to go. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so how about we get started? I I don't know where to, well, I'm gonna start with some of the, I don't know where I'm gonna start. I was gonna start with the chicken, but maybe I'll have to try some of these veggies first. I'll try some coleslaw to start. Ooh, oh yeah. How many to the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat, lots of coleslaw. Ooh. Celery seed. I like it. Hey everyone, welcome to Zuru. Today we're here taking on a very large and delicious looking fried chicken challenge in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, essentially Philadelphia, the Philadelphia area. So for this challenge, uh, as we said, we got 20 minutes to eat all these delicious looking items. So fresh and so crisp. I know they're just here, and I definitely approve. And although I decided to start with the sides, I was super excited to get into that fried chicken. They cook using like a broiler slash broaster, whatever method, um, which I mean, everything looked so delicious, it looked so crispy. Um, I thought it was super unique that they offered a gluten-free fried chicken. That's very hard to come by, and especially for it to look like this. Oh, I might as well finish up. I'm just good on the chicken, but this is really good. Fried chicken challenges are a little bit more difficult um, per weight compared to something like a burger because there is a bit of a technique. You have to, you know, obviously work with bones. You don't want to eat bones, so you have to work around bones. You can't just shove the food straight in your face, if that makes sense. You know, you have to actually eat the meat off of the bone. Um, so it is a little more timely. Delicious coleslaw. Now this chicken, guys, I'm excited. This is looking some real crispy juiciness. I'm pumped. Try just by itself first. Mmm. Woo! Oh, man. Mmm. I'll show you last time I'm gonna show you, then I'll just start eating. Okay, super juicy chicken, guys. Great crunch on it. Mm. Got rosemary in there. Great seasoning. Mm. Oh wow, so crispy. Mm. I definitely approve, guys. That's fantastic. Mm. That pressure cooker chicken, guys. That pressure fryer is amazing. 
breaking into this chicken, I was thoroughly impressed by not only the taste, the flavor, it like had a really nice seasoning on it, but just the crispness, and it was cooked perfectly. Um, nice and juicy still, but just oh so crispy, which I love. I love, love, love a crispy fried chicken, although some people don't. So let me know down below if you like a crispy fried chicken or a, well, soft. What can I say? I am impressed. Got some wings as well. They also had a variety of different sauces for the fried chicken and they recommend it, you know, like certain pairings. So of course they have like their standard lovebird sauce, which they said goes well with everything. Um, of course I had the different sides, um, you know, like the fried pickles or the Brussels sprouts, which I thought were also super cool. Uh, and I really did like that I get I got to choose my sides for this challenge. That was really a nice addition. I'll try breast where I'm at it. I will say I do love breast. Chicken breast, guys, chicken breast. Very delicious. I am an absolutely huge fried chicken person. I would definitely say it was one of my favorite foods. And I gotta say, this is definitely the best gluten-free fried chicken I've ever had. Oh yeah, nice and juicy. What's the best sauce, what do you like? I haven't even tried the sauces yet. Oh my gosh, the leopard. I will, the leopard's good? All right, well, as per the recommendation, let's try their leopard sauce. Right here, got some dippy action going. Mm. Very nice. Really rich and creamy. Sometimes gluten-free items taste like mm, gluten-free, I'll put it that way, but this I never would have known. I just thought it was a delicious crispy piece of chicken. It tastes great though. I think the main difficulty for this challenge came with the time limit. Only having 20 minutes to eat all this is definitely quite difficult. Um, mostly because, like I said, it takes time to get the meat off the bones. Um, it's not the biggest challenge, but I would definitely put this as like a definite intermediate at least. Um, just again, due to the actual difficulty of it being fried chicken. But man, did it ever taste good. So good. Keep on getting on some of this chicken. Get some more legs, some thighs. I don't mind legs either, or thighs. And you notice I was eating most of this chicken without any sauces or anything. Like I said, super juicy, cooked perfectly. Although my favorite condiments for fried chicken is ketchup and hot sauce. Let me know your favorite uh, accompaniments for your fried chicken down below. So succulent. Some juicy, juicy breast action. I'm gonna try this uh, honey mustard sauce. Mm. There's a real zip to it. Almost like horseradish maybe? But that's pretty much the majority of the information. Like I said, we were in the quest for the free meal, getting into some delicious, you know, fried chicken there. Of course, I had the coleslaw, which I really like to start, just a crisp coleslaw. We still had the pickles and the Brussels sprouts to get to. So like I said, no shortage of food, that is definitely for sure. But I loved this chicken. If you're ever in the area, I definitely recommend stopping on by and trying some of the chicken. You don't need to eat 12 pieces by yourself. Like, don't even attempt to. Um, Cause I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to actually eat 12 pieces plus all the sides by myself. But like I said, definitely would recommend grabbing yourself some of this chicken. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about that. So ultimately, let's tune on in. Let us see what happens. Um, I will say my favorite cuts of chicken as well are definitely thighs and breasts. And drumsticks are solid too. I'm not the biggest, well, I like chicken wings, but if I'm having a good old fried chicken, I want the pieces which have the most meat. And uh, let's just say, usually the breasts or thighs, especially if they're meaty and juicy, breasts and thighs and legs are doing that. So let's get the rest of the video. Very, very good. All right. Getting the smartest chicken. Well, we got, we got some sides, everything. I'll probably finish chicken, get the sides. I'm gonna try some ketchup. You know, I'm all about that ketchup life, guys, so. Mmm, very good. Hello, um, can 
I just have a love bird to go, please. Uh, yes, please. And I will say, would you also love me some chicken and hot sauce? So I have their buffalo sauce here. Maybe give that a shot. Very, 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 very creamy, creamy buffalo sauce. Great flavors. Give some more breast action here. Last piece, sadly, because that was freaking delicious. That was definitely like, that was a treat right there, guys. All right, anyway, got some fried pickle action. Mm, nice and crunchy. Tastes good, too. Um, I know it's normally served with like a chipotle mayo. Great flavor. It's funny, fried in the pickles, Still gives that dill pickle taste, but it really takes away like the acidity. So, if you like pickles, less of a bite. Great way to have them.
Brussels sprouts. I know they fry the Brussels sprouts and they put them in like a, like a chili sauce or something. Lovely fried Brussels sprouts. Ooh wee! Mm -mm -mm. Oh man. That is rich, that is sweet. Oh man. Yes. Brussels sprouts. Alrighty, and I said we are done, guys. Just shy of 15 minutes. Woo, that was delicious. Definitely, definitely, definitely a lot of food. That was so good. That fried chicken, just like great crisp on it. Again, believe it or not, everything here was actually gluten free, so that's pretty damn cool. <coughs> I had to say a huge shout out to the staff, though. They've all been really, really, really awesome. But yeah, just like breasts, legs, thighs. I like it. I like it, guys. But yeah, seriously, if you're ever in the area, so now we got Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area, and Connecticut. Definitely stop and buy a Lovebird. Um, I'm not saying you should eat this many pieces of fried chicken in one sitting, but, you know, come back. Eat this many in over a week or so. Um, I know they have a whole bunch of other, like, sandwiches and salads and all this stuff, but I'd really recommend it, guys. I love that chicken. It was hot. It was fresh. And uh, I can't complain. I, like, I really can't complain. This was fantastic. Sauce are really good as well. Um, but that being said, like I said, guys, good, crispy, juicy, wholesome chicken. And with that, I have nothing else to say. So I like it a lot. So, of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. And um, that was awesome. I don't even, like, this was, yeah, it was just delicious. I love fried chicken. Let me know down below if you like fried chicken. And what do you eat with your fried chicken? Like, what do you eat your fried chicken with? That's the way to put it. I like ketchup. I also really like hot sauce. Um, but you know, hey, I mean, there's honey mustard, there's all that kind of stuff. So let me know your favorite sauce down below. And everybody, until next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.